Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are still chilling and consolidating here. We're working on expanding this army. And if I recall correctly, we are currently very close to our force limit. Yeah, our force limit is 96. Okay. So for now, let's get a core going here. Although that may not have been the cheapest core. We'll get that sorted. That's fine. And let's set an agenda. So what do we got going on here? Build a temple for a base tax in Havana. Manpower level of at least 50. It's not amazing, although I do want the manpower level to come up. And fully colonize all provinces in the Iquitos area. Where is this? Well, it's this area down over here. Regardless, this is the most achievable one here. So we're definitely going to take that. So a temple or a great temple in Havana. Noted. So that seems fine for now. Now we do have a rebel uprising brewing, the Castilian Louisianan Separatist, which is up over here. I'm going to get these guys to stop drilling for the time being so that they are prepared to deal with that. And that'll be okay. We'll tick forward here and we are expecting Europe to declare on us relatively soon. We'll see if that happens. Okay, so we got a province cord. That's excellent. We need to make a state up here. There we go. And that, of course, means that we need more full cords. But we have no overextension remaining, which is excellent. And we still have a lot of admin that we need to get all of this cord. So that is all 100% understood. I do want to come down here and think about continuing to expand our cannon here, because we need to improve our on-paper power so that, hopefully, Europe doesn't bother attacking us. That's the idea. So we're going to expand this up a little more. We're now at 97 for our force limit. Okay. That seems fine. We'll get another one going here. So that's going to put us up to 95 out of 97, which is excellent. And we're going to need to wait for some additional gold to come in. The question is, are we going to max out this army and go over our force limit? Or... Ooh, gain 50 admin power. Yes, please. Or are we going to sit at our force limit? I'm not sure yet, but we can enact a government reform, and let's see what we want to do. So we're in Tier 7, and we can get Tolerance of the True Faith and an admin-free policy. We don't have any policies we can get right now. Leader cost and loyalty equilibrium. Okay. Yearly corruption reduction here is actually pretty good. This will increase our yearly corruption, which is not great. And we can't do that one. So I think we go for the yearly corruption reduction. That sounds great. So this is currently going down by 0.7 yearly. Okay. So we can definitely ramp up our rooting out of corruption to be about here or so. That sounds good. And at this point, we are primarily constrained by our gold. We're going to need to wait until next month before we can get another one of these. We can see our force limit has gone up again to 98. And we expect the force limit to be going up pretty rapidly here. So that is wonderful. We're currently at 100 admin power, and let's just get a couple of these full cores made. There we go. Keep in mind that the way this works is we still have the autonomy ticking down while we have these full cores. It's just that we don't have it actually affecting us, because we're capped at a minimum of 90 for our autonomy in these territories. But the moment we make it full core... It'll go down to the actual number, which is going down monthly. So that is absolutely wonderful. Cool. So our truce with Castile is over. That's noted. We've built up some manpower. We're more powerful than we've ever been in the past. So that is all looking good. We need currently two additional cannon here. The, Ottoman, the Ottomans popularized Silk. And Portugal entered into a treaty of support independence for Matt Lazinka. Matt Lazinka is not going to exist for much longer. They will be... Well, actually, they need less than 50 Liberty Desire. What is their Liberty Desire currently? Well, it's currently 100. Due to relative army power of Matt Lazinka and the supporter Portugal. Okay. This isn't all that much over 100, but I don't know if we can get this back down to 50. Hmm... 
We could placate the local rulers, but that's not really very useful. We can demand nothing as a tribute, which seems okay. They're not going to give it to us anyway. So this support independence is going to be mildly problematic. No doubt about that. And let's see what their opinion of us is currently. Yeah, aggressive expansion and annexed vassal. So there's not too much we can do about this. I think improved relation caps at 100 for a Mesoamerican tributary. So yeah, Portugal doing that definitely stops this annexation, which is rude. But we'll see if that ends up happening in the future. So for the moment, what I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to continue to improve relations. Where's our relations here? Okay, so we'll improve relations. I think this is going to cap at 100. No, it caps at 200. Okay, we're definitely going to do that then. So that'll get them up over zero. That's good. And then beyond that, we can't afford to influence nation right now, but we'll get there eventually. Our innovativeness is decreasing. That's understood. So currently, this is our technological situation. It's not phenomenal. And our institution spread is actually, it's 65.8 here. That's not bad. Okay, that's fine. So this is looking reasonably fine for now. We're mostly short on money. And that's understood. So Maracaibo and a request for access from English Columbia. We're going to accept that. That is fine. And let's go ahead and form Yukba. New Granada and Separatists have spawned out here. Okay. So we're going to undrill these guys and we're going to send them right on over. Cool. So over they head. They're going to probably remain in this area. I'm surprised that those Castilian Louisianan separatists didn't spawn first, but whatever. It's okay. So we're going to continue to make full cores here. Or a full core. We'll get another one on this month's tick. Portuguese Brazil was making a, a spy network, which is not surprising at all. We're going to take the local unrest. And these guys are going to be right here? Sure. We'll eliminate them with no real problem. So our colony in Barinas became self-sustaining. That's good. Beyond that, we're interested in just filling things in out over here. So nothing too high priority since the coastline is all, already all taken. So this is great. We get this taken care of. And 185 men will be used this month. Yeah, that's okay. We can spend some diplomatic power. Okay, supply limit here is reasonable. So I'm going to, yeah, our force limit now is 100. So that's definitely noted. So we're at 36 Crownland. We definitely don't want to do a sale of titles, although it would be a useful thing for us, for sure. I think what we should do right now is move these guys back over this way. To get them back to drilling as soon as we can. I'm actually shocked that these Castilian Louisianans haven't popped yet. They have a 10% chance every single month. But okay, <laughs> we'll keep an eye on that. There they go. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to head in here, and then we're just going to turn around and head right back to where we were. Excellent. So they're out of there. No problem. And we're just going to park right here and enable drilling. Excellent. Excellent. Now these guys are going to arrive down in Sinu, and they're going to enable drilling very shortly as well. Nobles are demanding re recompensation. Recompensation. There we go. That's how that word works. Uh, we're going to lose the stability, actually. I don't want to pay them a thousand ducats. We're going to ignore them. Cool. So we're going to enable the army drilling here, and we currently have 103 gold. So I want to come over to Havana, where we know that we need to put in a temple. We're going to get that going right now. Military access from Peroria. They're at war with Portugal. We accept that. Okay. So I want to check in on our vassal's liberty desire. Okay. So that's definitely dropping as we improve this relation. That is good. That's very, very good. So it's been improved by 152. It can go up by 48 more. I don't think this is going to go down below 50, but we'll see where it ends up sitting at. For now, we can convert a province, which we definitely will do. And we can get some more cores done here. So we'll get all of that done. Perfect. 
And we're going to be expanding our army more here, for sure. So our current cap is 100. That will continue to change. We need to get this up to 17, so we need seven more here. That would be three over cap. I think we go ahead and build three over cap. That seems fine. Are we at half of our manpower? No, that would be about 28k. That's noted. Okay. I'm a little surprised Europe hasn't declared on us, but I like it. I'm very glad. So we're probably just going to try to swoop in and steal a little bit of English Mexico or Caribas. One of those two. Uh, weakening Portugal would be very useful for us for sure, but so would weakening Britain. Both of those would be good. So we have enough now to get a cannon. We should do that. Now it's 101 for the force limit. Yeah, that's going up quickly. I like it. That is absolutely excellent. We got another conversion finished, and we definitely need to continue to work on these. We can see we're at 83% right now. That's not bad. There's only so many of them left to do. So that looks good. No problem whatsoever there. Let's get another core done. There's not so many of those left either. We almost no longer have a scroll here. So that's really, really good. Let's get another cannon in here. There we go. That's up to 98. And we can now grab ourselves Diptech 17, which I want to do. We're going to do that right now. There we go. That puts us on par here. Our admin tech is still quite far behind, and we need to spend a lot here. So our other colony became self-sustaining. So let's just go start up another one here. Wonderful. Okay, so we completed this agenda, gaining ourselves a base tax. Portugal was building a spy network, which isn't surprising. Okay, and we can recall this diplomat. Matt Lazinka is now as good as it's going to get. They're still disloyal, and their opinion isn't as high as we'd like it to be. However, they're at 78. Okay. So, that was definitely a fairly significant shift. No doubt about that. I wonder if we would be able to Royal Mary yet. No, because they're still disloyal. So, we need to improve their loyalty somewhat more. And the question is, how will we go about doing that, right? So, the Annex Vassal and the Aggressive Expansion is going to be changing slowly over time. That's understood. For right now, I want to continue to boost up this army. That will be mission number one. How strong is Portugal right now? And they're, of course, in this war. That's understood. So they're at 106k, and we are currently at 98k. So that is not a significant difference. That is something that can be made up. However, keep in mind, they have their colonial nations. Their colonial nations are going to be a significant boon for them in that regard. So we need to continue to core here. But it seems like Europe might be finally learning their lesson a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> they might be learning not to mess with us. We'll see. For now, I want to get another cannon in here. We need three more to max out this army. So that looks good. We can make this state out over here which we will do. That puts us back into this position. Okay, that's fine. We'll get Janos Cord here. Excellent. And we're definitely getting to the point where these are more expensive, but that is, of course, because they have higher development. So that is understood. Portuguese Peru was building a spy network. Hilarious. And Portuguese Brazil sowed discontent amongst our population. Understandable. So we need two more cannon here. That'll be 60 gold in total. And we're going to have enough to get another core going here shortly. There should be a stable government. I agree with you. There should be. But we're going to ignore them. Okay. So next up, we need to get that core done. And we can continue to convert. So let's work on that. There's a lot of conversion left to do. And that is absolutely understood. Next up, I want to get another cannon going here. We'll have to wait one more month. Take looks like we've got a rounding error. And our force limit is now high enough to bring this up to 107. Now, keep in mind, we still have the three cavalry here. And that's understood. We're going to split off that cavalry when we start another army. So that's fine. 
So we'll get one more cannon here, and then I'm not planning on further expanding our army immediately. What are we making right now? 6.96? Okay, that's fine. So we'll have enough to do this on this next month tick. Our force limit is a little higher than what we've got here. So that's understood. We can now get ourselves a mill tech. That's going to get us combat width, as well as new cannon type. Okay. I'm going to hold off on this for just a moment. Not long. Just long enough for this cannon to be made and grouped in. We do have a rebel uprising of a couple of different types of separatists. So where are these guys at? Okay, so we've got one up here, and then the new Grenadan Separatists, which is primarily the Orinoco... Orinoco Delta. Okay, so that's out over here. Noted. I'm going to undrill these guys. We're going to move up over here, and I'm going to undrill these guys, because we might get spawned on with our rebels up here. That's understood. So that is reasonably fine for now. We need to get rid of all of this Separatism, of course, which the Separatism should mostly... Okay, that's at plus 10. Okay, fair enough. That's going to take some time. Cool. So, for right now, these guys, they're currently moving. I want them to not be moving because I want to finish this chambered demi cannon. Unfortunately, oh, actually, these guys spawned up here. It wasn't the southern ones. Okay, this is fine. Back to drilling we go. So, here we're just waiting on this chambered demi cannon. Russia has the end of internal conflicts. Okay, noted. And these guys, they're going to head over this way, to the Orinoco Delta. Cool. Now I'm going to grab our next Miltech, Miltech 18. That gives us access to chamber demi cannons. Actually, it did, but we don't actually want them. Hang on, what do we got going on here? This will give us new types here, but yeah, that didn't actually give us new cannon type that we want. Okay. Whatever. I guess that's fine. We'll core here. That That is okay. We need to continue to core, of course. And at this point, we do have a lot of rebels that are brewing, but I'm not too concerned about them. But we did get some combat width out of that. So our combat width is now 32. So if we look at our overall size, we're sized to have two armies fighting together, right? Our armies are separate right now, but we're sized to have them together and have two armies fight in the same position to have maximum combat width. So we're at 32 for that because we have 17 here. Technically, we'd be at 34 for our combat width here. So we're not too concerned about expanding our army size for now. So this sounds good. We can bank up some manpower. We can think about going to war somewhat soon. We can seize land, which we definitely want to do. There we go. Noble Rebels. Oh, I didn't even look at our nobility. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty small. I'm not too concerned about them. So let's just have this army head around over like this. That was my mistake. I should have looked at that. I did not. Okay, so we instantly stack wipe that. Again, I'm not very concerned about this. They are going to occupy this, but that just gives them plus 10% local autonomy. That'll tick back down. I'm not too concerned about it. Okay, let's get these out of here. We are going to demand that the land be removed. So we have noble rebels up over here. Noted. We'll turn around, deal with those. Okay, so this is all fine for the moment. We are currently losing money. That's understood. Lose ducats for military power or gain admin power. Mm. How far ahead of time are we in Miltech right now? Nine years. Okay, I'm going to take the admin power. That is very useful for us because we still need to do cores. So we need to head up over to here next. Cool. So these noble rebels are going to be eliminated. Ooh, hang on. We got to do something like this. Okay. There we go. No problem. Stack wiped both of those. And yeah, they're going to gain autonomy up here. That's fine. We should probably split this army in order to deal with this more efficiently, but this is fine. We have a loan? I didn't know. Oh, we just took one. Okay. Because we're spending 10 gold per month. 
That really ramped up. Okay. So this is presumably because our nobles are very upsetty in their spaghetti. Presumably. I'm guessing that's what's going on here. The nobles are extremely upsetty in their spaghetti right now. That's fine. I'm not too concerned about it. We have enough gold now to do some things. Those things include going to Matlazinka and doing Influence Nation. Oh, we have loans to repay first. We can't do Influence Nation while we have loans to repay? Interesting. Good to know. Well, I guess that's fine. We are not making progress on our annexation of Matlazinka, but I'm not too concerned about it. So let's take a quick look at what we've got going on here. So in terms of their loyalty, the aggressive expansion has dropped. We can get this opinion up by six. Okay. We can definitely send them a gift. But we're running a deficit while having loans. Okay. So it won't let us do that right now. That's understandable. So 70 ducats for 20 military power. We're going to take the 10 admin again, and that's absolutely fine. We'll get actually two cores going here. Perfect. So with those two full cores done, that will be very beneficial. So where is this gold going? Well, interest is part of it, for sure. That's absolutely true. Rooting out of corruption is significant, of course. And we can ramp down our rooting out of corruption and sit about here. So we're no longer running a deficit. And at this point, we should be able to send them a gift once this month kick happens. So at this point, we can send them a gift of 50 gold. That'll boost their opinion by 25. So that sounds good. That brings them up to 50 at this point. So checking in on their liberty desire, it's at 73. Understood. So we're going to head, actually, we're just going to sit exactly where we are, and we're going to drill these guys. These out over here, the Orinoco Delta has not actually popped yet. So these New Granadan Separatists, I'm going to actually provoke this revolt. They'll be stronger for 24 regiments. Okay, so they spawned out here and here in two different locations. That's fine. We're going to get some Separatism up over here, unfortunately, but that's okay. So we'll just eliminate these guys, and then we're going to come out over here. Wonderful. Now the question is, what is this other set going to be? That's going to be down here. Okay, we'll get moving there after. So we'll get another conversion going here. That looks good. And we can get another core eventually, but not immediately. So that's fine. We're 517 gold, and we have to think what we want to do with that. Well, our best bet is honestly to repay this loan, and that's a debt of 564. If we include the interest, it would be 650 gold. Noted. Noble regiments? Okay. Well, that's awkward. They spawned right on our drilling army, and we're just going to have to turn around and immediately fight them here. It's definitely awkward, but we're going to take admin power here and get another core here. But the province is actually under siege. Noted. I'm going to split off a unit here, and we're going to send the rest of our forces here to fight these guys and hope that we don't get separatism. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so they capped here. That's understood. Lose the stability or 10 legitimacy? We're going to lose the legitimacy for now. Our legitimacy is dropping down due to discontent. Okay. Noted. So these guys are going to walk down over here. We're going to cap this back. There we go. And we're going to head on down and deal with that rebellion. Perfect. So the nobility are going to get over it eventually, but they're very upset right now. Understandable. Colonial Canada is the sole domain of Portugal, according to the Pope. Good thing we don't listen to the Pope. So that is absolutely fine. We got another conversion finished. That's perfect. And we're going to walk on down to here. Uh, sure, this is fine. Cool. So we're almost done with our coring. Our manpower is filling up. So that looks great. And we're going to continue to attack over here. There we go. Let's get this all completed. And we're going to be getting ourselves some more ideas here. Land maintenance modifier, attrition reduction, and land force limit modifier is all really, really good for us. So that sounds magnificent. Let's get this completed. We're currently making 5.98 ducats per month. 
that's okay. We're going to walk back up over to Sinu. And we can get another core here. Excellent. So what's our Air Force limit right now? 107. Okay. Portugal fabricated a claim. We will see if they declare war on us. We have definitely boosted up our power level on paper. We're in a much better situation here than we were previously. So that is excellent. Now, these guys are going to be drifting upward. And that's good. We are at national unrest, manpower recovery, speed reduction, maintenance modifier up. So that is absolutely understood. These guys will get over it. I want to get these drilling, and with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to see if Portugal decides to make use of that claim they just made. That'll be interesting, for sure. If they do, we're probably going to look to take over a bunch of, like, Caribbean territory here. Or maybe come down into South America. We'll see. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Ali Lead, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge STL, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.